fan, literally. The six foot 11 basketball legend can recite lyrics from almost all of their songs. His other accomplishments? Well, he was named College Player of the Year three times with UCLA, he led the Portland Trailblazers to the NBA title in 1977, and was the league's MVP in 78. The rest of his pro career was riddled with injuries. But through all the ups and downs, the Redhead's been a deadhead. They're still his favorite team today, almost 20 years since he first started trucking to their music. My chips cashed in and keep trucking Like the dude I met Together For a passing line Just keep trucking oh, 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 oh. Tonight the light's all shining on me Well, I used to be a great basketball player. I, I'm no longer a great basketball player. I can't play at all anymore, but my main goal was always to win. And I never really cared if I scored X amount of points or, or got X amount of rebounds. It was basically do whatever it takes to win. And that's, that's the name of the game in basketball. It's the name of the game in life, I think, is winning. And uh, hey, we're going to win tonight. There's a great Grateful Dead show. And there's nothing else you know, happening that's any better. Come on and let the good times roll. We're gonna stay here to ensure our soul. It takes all that long. We were playing at a place, a theater in uh, Portland. I guess is when Bill was on the tra in the Trailblazers. He was the only one in the audience. I thought everybody else was sitting down. And of course, they were standing up, and he was standing up too. And so I, I was thinking to myself, well, there's a truly tall individual. You know, and somebody says, hey, that's Bill Walton. Um, that, 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 that was the show. Playing in a band and playing on a basketball team, I'm sure, are very, very similar. I've never played in a band. It's similar in that it requires, first of all, tremendous discipline. Everybody plays a, a supportive, a role that supports everybody else. Uh, at, at some point, you can be a star, but you still have to you still have to relate to the team. It's the thing of seeing a team perform exceptionally well, beyond even what you would expect them to be. I know Jerry often refers to to Bob as the uh, the doctor of tempo. Well, in basketball, controlling tempo is key, and uh, everybody's trying to do that. So I guess the one who succeeds is really the doctor of tempo. It's not enough just the thing of being a professional and being paid to do the job. You know what I mean? It's those nights when it's beyond that. It's beyond your love of the game. It's magic. Magic. That's all. But at least I'm enjoying the ride. At least I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah! At least I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah, he needs this music. This, you know, it's a nourishment for him. And it, it makes him go strong, keeps his mind together, and keeps his outlook and his attitude right. I don't look back. In fact, uh, over the course of my basketball career, I've had, I've had many, many setbacks and many uh, pitfalls that I've stumbled into. And it's just uh, something that, you know, that I've learned and that I've, uh, I've uh, you know, received a lot of encouragement and help from my friends, particularly here in The Grateful Dead, about, uh, you know, don't look back. Just keep going and something good will happen. Inside your brain, I can see clear through. Your eyes tell more than you mean them too. Lit up and flashing. Last night's show, that was the kind of show that made you want to jump up and down and go, yeah, I'm a dead end. Real proud. The Coors Fan of the Week is.